guys. So we are doing our work first. Our work. <laughs> our walk first. Uh, maybe a little bit of work because we're going to walk for about 30 minutes or so before we head over to the gym. Um, and so we're just going to pace it out, get a little, probably get to like 8K steps before I get into workout mode. But here we go. All right, guys, so we just finished a walk. I'm literally like shy of 10,000 steps. Kind of feel it, but it's okay. I got the pre-workout going. Got it right here. Haven't drank it just yet. Oh, what's with the receipt at the bottom? <laughs> Time to get the pre-workout in. All right, so we're gonna turn on the 20 minute timer. Cause this pre-workout kicks in pretty, pretty fast guys. So, all right, see you in a bit. All right, here we go. Gonna warm up with the bar first. As you guys know, last time it literally fell on me. But still got these safeties here. But last time I grabbed it with it a little further back. I set it up the way it should be. So I can just get it right off and just boom, right that out. So we're gonna do 245s plus the bar and 235s, which is 205, just like last time. And if I fail, at least the safety's there. So, oh. And my wife is there to save me. There's safeties here, so I might even just drop it there. Here we go. Turn the music on. from last week. So I'm below the weight uh, as fast as possible and then add more volume. But that's okay. Let's rub it out. So that's three. This is the last time I did. Uh, 205 and then add an eight reps. So I can go for another eight too for this one. There we go. So for this next set, this is going to be considered the second set because me take decreasing the weights and adding more volume was part of the first set. So we're going to just do, go down to 185 now and uh, just rep it out between the 8 and 12 rep range, see how much I can do. So put the three minute timer on, about one minute left, what's in there? Alright guys, set number two, here we go. Yeah. 
All right, so that was six reps at 185. So we're gonna bring down the weight back down to 155 as the final set to add a little bit more volume and for that 10 to 12 rep range. So here we go. the five to six rep range at 82 pounds for the weighted pull-ups so again every week we're gonna try, try to attempt to break it so here we go so this is a 35 this is a 10 and this is a 35 again so plus the chain So we're just gonna add a little bit more volume and I picked another spot, but uh, yeah, just gonna add more volume, went lighter on the weight. So aim for that 10 to 12 rep range. Here we go. This is only 37 pounds. So. Keep it at the same weight at 35. See how much I could rub out. Or 37. Nope. Okay, three more. 
Take out the weight, I'm gonna do body weight. Got a total of 10. Should be five more body weight. Pat my dress. So I hope you got no mind. We're gonna do 15 pounds on a dumbbell. Here.
pose a little bit. I'm just gonna end it one more set with a little bit more volume. 25 each, so. Tricep extensions. 30 45 seconds rest in between as well. So here we go. few sets and the exercises thereafter are more accessory more isolated more focused and so we just add a little bit more volume still within that six to twelve rep range which combines both strength and hypertrophy all right we're not going crazy on the reps going 30 100 unless we're doing traps right but that's that's pretty much how it is all right last set here we go Alright guys, so that concludes Friday's workout. We're going to go on, go on about the day. I'm going to take my post-workout. I have a call uh, meeting in about like 30 minutes. So, maybe, maybe, actually 15 minutes. Oh crap. So i got to get ready, get my stuff, and set up. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright, so, so I have this call with Gen Athletics right now. I'm going to have to conduct the phone call via cell phone because I'm on the go. So let's see how it goes. What is going on, you guys? So let's let's talk about what type of training is optimal for uh, physique purposes, right? And I'll just kind of base it off of my experience, and I'll be truly transparent with you guys. Whether I say um right a lot, and I pause here and there and stutter, well, yeah, no edits. I'm just gonna just go all in. So pretty much, and 
just a backstory. So I've always wanted to get to the six pack or get to the physique that I'm at right now. And the thing is, I never got there for a reason. Number one, I want to point out is because I never really educated myself on what really matters when it comes to this type of like physique, strength, aesthetics, all of those things, right? It was, it, my, to my knowledge, and what's what you see all the time is like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm Filipino, so we grew up with basketball and boxing, right? That's well, at least for me, uh, I played hockey as a young child and boxing and basketball. Those are my three sports, and all of those have a lot of cardio in its sort of realm. Like cardio is like the main focus, stamina, you know, and all those things. And so, as a ch from a young child, I that's just the way I trained, and I always thought. Well, that is how you get a six pack. So the thing is, I was, I believed in that for a long time. The thing is, number one, you know, it's not bad to do a bunch of cardio, right? It's, it's healthy for you. Um, however, again, if it's not strategized correctly, if you're not eating enough, and, you, and if you think your diet doesn't matter, uh, you, again, this goes back to you can't outwork a bad, bad diet. Um, it's true, right? I I thought that you could eat a bunch of Cheetos and and run all day and look great, right? Or I thought that you can um, eat less, right? Uh, uh, eat less and move a ton more, right? Hence, ton more, uh, and I would get to the phys physique that I wanted. All attempts, I lost weight. But I also lost lean muscle mass and also got weaker, exhausted, and I looked a little weird. I look, actually just felt weird and just didn't look the way I wanted to. However, with my – because body dysmorphia is real, like I'll look in the mirror and be like, ooh, I have a little bit of abs. And so it felt good. So I continued that kind of training or whatever I was doing at that point in my life, which then led to bad habits of, you know, when you undereat, you tend to overeat the next day to compensate for undereating because you felt bad or because you are extremely hungry, right? And especially if your cardio is, in, if your cardio activity is like through the roof, then yes, you're going to be hungry, eat back what you just burned, or if not more. Therefore, you never get to the the physique that you that you've always wanted. So, the, the question is, what kind of training is optimal for actual physique? Well, I say. Number one, resistance training. You got to lift heavy all the time. You got to track your lifts, a.k.a. progressive overload. And if you didn't progressive overload, still lifting weights is going to recruit new muscle fibers. It, muscle fibers. It's going to cause your muscles to scream for growth, right? But it can't grow if all you're doing is training all day, every day without eating enough, right? So there's like a hybrid approach to this whole thing. So if you truly want a physique, where you're strong and aesthetic, you need to you need to approach this whole thing holistically as a lifestyle. Am I following a training routine? It doesn't matter. You can go on Google, whatever. Am I train? Am I following that consistently? And I, am I also hitting my nutritional and calorie targets, especially protein targets, daily and consistently? And then also, am I getting enough sleep? Am I mitigating and you know leveling leveling out my stress? the way I need to, like all of those things combined is optimal training for a physique that you want. You can't, you can't cardio your way to it. Uh, you can't also over lift your way to it. You have to lift your way to it combined with uh, a, a, a targeted nutritional uh, protocol, right? And doing, combining all that consistently um, is going to get you to, to the physique you want. However, I do know it takes time to build momentum in each and one of those places. So start off where you can, right? Small steps. Start off with going to the gym. Once you get to the gym two to three weeks, you know, consistently and you start, you know, feeling the groove where if you don't go, you actually feel, feel bad just like you would at a job, then now it's time to dial in on your nutrition. Start practicing the nutrition part and then start combining it all. But if you're a beast, you'll combine it all together. So again, I know it's not like a one linear answer here, but you got you to gotta realize like you just have to lift heavy, track, get stronger, eat well, right? Recover well, do that long enough, you get to the physique that you want, not 
um, what eating a under eating your way to losing weight and becoming skinny fat and dealing with health problems that way and making your way to the phys physique even harder or overeating thinking you know dirty bulking is going to get you the 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 muscle it will but you know you're you're dealing with like long term health stuff that you don't want to deal with and you're also going to make the cut even harder just lift heavy you know hit your calorie targets and and whatnot and do that consistently and you'll get to the phys physique that you want you'll get to the strength that you want and everything else so hope this helps guys um and uh yeah, hope this helps. We're going to go on with our day. I have a I have a Legion Athletics meeting, so stay tuned for some big news with them. But, um, yeah, hope this helps, and let's go on with the day. Heck, yeah. Always is. Feeling much better today, so that's good. That's um, good. Oh, yeah, so um, hopefully, yeah, you're feeling better. Feeling much better? Yes, I okay. am. Yep, thank you. Uh, you survived it, so you're fine. So that will conclude today's vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you guys got tons of value and now you know exactly what type of routine, right, gets you to the physique that you've always wanted, right? Hopefully it sets the foundation for you and you start taking action because that's really all that matters. So please make sure to hit that notification button, the subscribe button, and um, drop a comment, share this channel. I appreciate the support. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.